This is B Sports here and I'm going to show you a 2010 LUN. This is an 18 Sport Angler with a 115 four stroke EFI Mercury. We'll start with a trailer. This is a Shorelander trailer made by Shorelander of course for LUN. Uh, this particular boat has brakes. It's got surge brakes, swing tongue to help with storage. It's got the good load guides on the back here. It's got a nice plastic step to help get into the boat. It's got uh, bearing buddies with the caps on them. Here's your load guides. Also has LED lights which is a really nice feature that way you never have to worry about these lights shorting out. It's got retractable tie downs so that way when you uh, go to take these off it just stays right on the trailer. You just let them down and you're ready to go. You don't have to get them out of the car. Again, this motor is a 115 uh, four-stroke. You're going to be high 30s, low 40s on this boat. It'll run just great. It's an extra long transom, so this is a good deep water boat. It's a walk-through windshield. Comes with two seats. I took the seats out so you can see how big this area is. This is probably my my favorite big water boat. It's just huge inside. Walleye, Saginaw Bay, Salmon Lake, Michigan. This is what this boat's made for. It's got the sport track bracket, uh, tracks on the inside, so you can put mount uh, rod holders. You can buy downriggers brackets for this to mount your downriggers on, so you're not drilling holes. This one here has a freshwater wash down system right here. It's got a little middle bait bucket in the back here. Then you can see you get right to the back of the boat to net the fish. There's nothing in the way. Set up for uh, extra fuel line for a kicker motor if you want that. It's got interior lights right here. Rod holders in the back. Starting battery goes down there with uh, more storage. If you want to put a second battery in it, you can. It's got four movable seat bases and the two big bases up front. You got storage underneath both side consoles. Back up in here. Got floor storage. This is for a trolling motor battery storage if you do trolling motors. It's got the uh, Sony AM FM uh, CD player, full gauge panel, trim gauge, fuel gauge, sport, and uh, RPM. Got master power, nav lights, bilge pumps, aerator, interior lights, horn. 12 volt outlet here to hook up other stuff, lights and stuff. <coughs> nice big glove box. Storage here. Now this storage runs all the way underneath the consoles. So this is a lot of storage right there. Live wall up front with a divider and a light. Vinyl floor, so I got vinyl everywhere up front on a bow. Got trolling motor plug here, another night light for uh, night fishing, your night light for running. Storage here, storage out front, cleats on all four corners, walk through windshield. It's just huge in the back and the reason that's back here so much is they actually move the console and the windshield a little bit farther forward on most boats. You can see this area up here is a little bit smaller but the, just to make this area back here like a dance hall. It's just huge. You get a couple guys back here fishing it's no problem at all. I 
and this has got the Lund IPS2 hull on it. It's probably the best riding aluminum boat on the market with that hull design. This is the same hull that they put under the Pro V's and that's what the pros are running to, to make their money. This is a great boat.